What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Tunji's Podcast. I am your host, Tunji Taylor-Lewis. Before I start anything, happy holidays, everybody. Hope everybody's having an amazing Christmas season. Um, For those of you who had to work today, uh, sorry about that. But hey, you know what? Like, work is all over, and like now we get to just, you know, enjoy the holidays. You know what I'm saying? Hello, everybody who's joining my live right now. Hello, hello. Come on in, come on in. Um, So... Me and my lady were just out around town doing some last minute like holiday stuff that we need to do. And uh, while we were in the car and while we were walking around, we were listening to we were listening to some throwback music, like not ultimate ultimate throwback, but just like you know, just uh, songs from the last decade. You know what I mean? Like old Chris Brown songs. We we're listening to a lot of old Chris Brown, you know, from the early you know 2010s. Um, some of his earlier music from back then we were listening to some Chance the Rapper we were listening to some Justin Bieber you know all that good stuff from like you know 2012 2013 2014 when I was in when I was in uh, my my early years of of college and um, it really got me thinking first of all I was amazed that I still knew all of those songs word for word like you know it's it's just a really amazing how certain songs stick with you right like you have those songs on your iPod, you know, at the time, you know, you had your songs on your on your iPod. We still had iPods back then, um, you know, or on your phone. And you're just like, you're know, listening to songs. And you're just, I, I would listen to songs over and over and over and over and over again until I got tired of it. So, you know, I had lots of chance to rap around there apparently because I still was able to recite all the words from Acid Rap. You know, the songs from journals that Justin Bieber put out, a few of those songs I was able to um, to sing all those songs. Um, Chris Brown's songs from back in the day, I was able to say all those as well. Um, so it's just amazing how those songs stick with you even though you haven't listened to them, right? And, uh, sorry, even though you haven't listened to them for a while, and it just kind of like takes you back to like, you know, a, a time and space that you're in in your life. Um, and it really got me thinking, I was just like, man, I, I really miss the days when I was just like listening to music just purely for the for the enjoyment of it like it was just really as simple as you know I like this song and I'm just gonna listen to it all the time or I don't like this song and I don't want to listen to it and now whenever I watch movies or listen to music I always think about it in the context of like the entertainment industry I was thinking about it and I always think about things from like a marketing perspective right so for example when cardi b had her moment when she blew up i i couldn't just you know enjoy it just like everybody else did you know what i mean like uh, i had to uh analyze it i had to figure out why like how did she build up her audience to the point that where she was like what was the setup for her breakthrough like the moves that she's making now all this stuff blah 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 and uh you know it's, it's not something that i regret because you know it's just the path of life that I've chosen you know what I mean I've chosen to be somebody who's conscious about you know how how entertainers market themselves and how to properly market a, a piece of music or a piece of film like that's that's the career that I've chosen and I should be studying it as much as I possibly can but there is a part of me that wish that uh, that misses you know the when I was like naive to all this stuff and I wasn't aware and life was just as simple as just enjoying songs or or enjoying movies you know what i'm saying like um like we were um me and my girlfriend were talking about how we first found out about chance the rapper i first found out about chance the rapper through acid rap like you know just word of mouth like someone from college was like hey have you heard this acid rap and you know i i threw it on and like you know i was obsessed with Ch- not obsessed with chance the rapper but i became a fan of chance the rapper after i heard acid rap uh, my girlfriend first heard of um, Chance the Rapper through that song she did with um, Justin Bieber. Um, it's called, like, the song Confident. You guys remember that song? Oh, no, no, oh, no, no, she's confident. Oh. And then, like, Chance had his verse on there. Um, that's how she first heard of Chance. And I realized in that moment, like, oh, that's how a lot of people, like, first heard about Chance the Rapper, right? That's, that probably was a huge opportunity for Chance the Rapper, getting him all that exposure to a whole new audience who probably didn't know him because when he was doing acid rap, he was probably still real underground at the time, even though I was a big fan of him. But that's to say, that's sort of the, the mindset that, that I go through right now in 2019 as a 25 year old. Like that's the process that I think through of like how that 
song was an elevation and chance the rapper's career. But at the time when the song came out, I wasn't thinking about any of that stuff. I, the, the extent of my thought was, oh, sh cool. Chance is on this song. And he had his little, his little ad lib. Ah, ah. Remember when Chance had that ad lib? Ah, ah, ah. Anyways. <laughs> um, that, that was just the extent of it. And, uh, you know, like definitely that's not a mindset that's going to like advance you in a career of entertainment and marketing and stuff like that. But it's just definitely a much simpler and easier and you know in certain ways more enjoyable way of thinking about music and and movies and stuff like that it's just like you know cool i like this and i'm just gonna listen to it and uh you know a lot of times i forget that especially when i'm on like you know like like tiktok for example which all you need to get on and follow me by the way <laughs> um uh, when i'm on an, i like tip tip I'm on, when I'm on an app like TikTok and it's a bunch of like kids, you know, eight years old to, you know, 16 years old to, you know, college age like I was back in that time, you know, that's that's how they're enjoying their music right now. You know, they're not thinking about things as far as like following, you know, somebody's journey necessarily or thinking about, you know, all the other stuff that comes with music. They're just like in a, in a zone where they can just enjoy music for the sake of enjoying music. and. Um, it's, it's really a beautiful space to be in and like it's it's, it's uh, you know it's really just a really enjoyable time that you don't realize you're having when you're that young and you're just enjoying the songs of your time um, because definitely like listening to the songs that came out in 2000 you know 12 to 2015 like definitely took me back to like a much you know like simpler time when you know I wasn't uh, you know thinking about entertainment from such a business perspective um uh yeah um that's really all i had to say um i wish i had more you know like i definitely try to go like 10 minutes on those things but you know maybe i could add, ask some questions since i got some people here on my live here i got natalie morel i got zero tolerance which is a very very creative handle um do either of you guys have any questions you want to ask me because like Usually I'm able to talk for this full 10 minutes, but I got nothing right now. So if anybody got some questions they want to ask me, I will answer them so I can properly fill up this time. Um, uh, while I'm waiting for you guys to ask uh, questions, I guess I'll let you guys know that I'm, I'm working on a project right now. Um, I'm trying to write a comic book, which is like, you know, a weird thing to do. Like, you know, when you first come out and say it, but yeah, I'm trying to writing a little bit of a, a comic book project right now. Um, the qu question from Alia.Mitchell is, are you like to be, fa are you like to be famous? Um, so because of the way this question is structured, I don't know if I quite understand the question. Are you like to be famous? Um, if you are asking that, are you, if the question is that, um, do I like to be famous? The answer is, I don't really think I'm that famous. I think that a lot of people know who I am on social media, but I certainly don't go through the experience of like, you know, people walking up to me on the street and saying, hey, you're that guy. Um, I also am not making famous person money. So that's another thing. So, um, but it is cool to have like a, a, a sizable audience on social media. It is cool. It is cool to, you know, work on stuff and like, know you have an audience of people who will immediately be ready to uh, receive it and look at it and give it uh, feedback. Um, but if your question is, would you like to be famous? Um, I would like to be famous, but not for the sake of fame. I want to be famous because it will just like allow me to perform and, you know, to perform in front of as many people as possible. I don't really want it for the amount of money I will get from it or because of the amount of tension I will get from it necessarily. I more want it so that when I have something to put out to the world or, you know, when I want to like perform on stage, for example, or when I want to like put out a film or a movie or a comic book project, like I just said, there will be people who will be, you know, ready to take that in and, and enjoy it. And, and um, and you know, while I was like a stage performer primarily, when I was just doing improv, um, I noticed that the bigger the audience was, the better I performed. And so I was just like, well, you know, like fuck it, let's try to perform it as, as in front of as big of an audience as possible. Which is why I'm on this Instagram journey and this TikTok journey and this podcast journey. So, all right.
made it to 10 minutes. Praise the Lord. Thank y'all so much for listening. Thank y'all so much for watching. Peace out.